what's going on today, fam? So it's another beautiful but hot day in Germany. Europe is going through a hot flash right now. I don't know if y'all read or heard, but it is hot. As you can see, I got the C5 up there on the lift. And today, I got some goodies in the mail from SLR Speed. So, and for you guys that don't know, I am running SLR's quick steering kit right now on the vet. That's what all those nice uh, purple anodized parts are right there. So, I made a how-to video on how to install that, and Paul from SLR Speed saw that, um, and he contacted me and said that he had the upgraded, updated, um, and steering knuckle and for their kit. So, from what Paul told me was that this new updated um, knuckle provides more angle and also more positive Ackerman adjustment. Um, so, at my car is set up for road racing, autocross, and all that stuff. So, Positive Ackerman is my friend. So, Paul offered to ship these out to me um, as a replacement for the ones I have now. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over taking this apart right quick, which should be quick and simple. We'll get these new ones installed, and we'll get a eyeball alignment going. Um just to get the car back on the ground into the alignment shop. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take out this tie rod in uh, bolt and that goes through the joint right there. These are 19 millimeters. And then I'll go ahead and take out these two Allen key um, bolts. Those are eight millimeters. And also this one bolt right here in the back. And that is all that is holding um, that steering knuckle to my actual uh, hub assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out now. And once I get this off, we'll compare the new knuckle with the old knuckle to see what updates and what differences we see. So we're gonna go over the updated knuckle and the old one. So this is the old one right here, as you can see. Nice little knuckle. And this is the new one. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. So off of the rip, if, if you look at the old knuckle and you look at the new knuckle, you can see that there's some material that's been taken out here. So from what I can see, that is so the actual knuckle can sit more flush with the hub assembly itself. So I'll show you so you can get a better idea. And so this is a knuckle. And so you can see I still have clearance between the actual uh, knuckle itself and this shaved off part and where I had to take off material in order to make it fit. And when I add the new one, you can see there's space now. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to modify this more and take more material out of there in order to get this new one to fit. So that's what we're gonna do now. The necessary amount of material has been cleared. As you can see, it took a fair bit of material out of there. But the new arm, well, the new knuckle, fits perfectly you can just see the light through there so i'm gonna go ahead and get this one back reinstalled and back put together and then we'll move on to alignment All right, y'all, so I got my new brackets installed. It wasn't bad at all, it went pretty smoothly. Um, one thing that did happen when I installed these new brackets was I got a lot of toe in, um, which makes sense because the brackets are further outwards towards the wheel, so it pulled the whole wheel um, closer in when I installed them, but I did a quick alignment or whatever just to get me where I'm going, but as you can see, God, look how pretty these parts look, man. Everything fit well. Um, I got everything clearance how it was supposed to be. Everything's installed, tightened up. So now I'm gonna take the car for a quick drive. Um, I'm gonna get my impressions, stuff like that, see if I can feel any different with uh, like just the way the car steers and all that good stuff. Um, and then I'll let you guys know how it is. But um, 
I do want to take the time to thank Paul from SLR. He uh, was super chill in this process, really helped me out. He answered whatever questions I had. If you're interested in buying this quick steer kit, I definitely, or any angle kit for that matter, like for your C5 or C6, I definitely recommend going through SLR Speed. They're quick. Um, their kit is very affordable and it's very easy to install, but I'll catch you guys. All right, y'all, so hopefully you can hear me. I didn't uh, have time to set up my mic and all that stuff. I just wanted to hurry up and give you my impressions on it. Um, so quick caveat and thing to keep in mind, my car is not aligned at the moment. So once everything is aligned, obviously like the effects will be better felt, but until then, we'll see how it is. Oh,
it. I appreciate it. As always, please do like and subscribe. I got more vet content coming.